From the coastlines of Morobe to the inlands of Berena in the central province, representatives from LLGs and wood councillors in Tewai CSE visited Berena station. The fact finding mission was critical to align its district administration. What we need, we had, I think you both had given us depth details of, uh, from the administrative point of view and from the political point of view, how you run this dual uh, system administration and a bigger district in this part of the country. Karakuiri MP Peter Isoaimo gave an overview of how the district is administratively functioning. Isoaimo says funding has always been an issue. He says funding is spread thinly to accommodate basic services. If we were fortunate to have received all our DSIP funds, um, we'd achieve a lot more and implement a lot more projects. Though Tewai CSE is not eyeing the option of separating the electorate, it wants to learn from the Karakuhiri lesson, a district operating with two separate administrations. With the Electoral Boundary Commission undergoing consultative reforms, the local MP hope things will be done soon. And we hope they fast track the, the proposal to bring in the August uh, uh, session of parliament so we can have this over and done with, get it adopted. Administratively, we are ready, I said, uh, both with the machinery, uh, the bureaucracy and the manpower, everything is already set to go. I have six LLGs, three in Kiri district, three in um, Kairuku district, which is again in conformity already to the organic law and provincial and local level governments. Meanwhile, the Tewai CSE MPS declared its support to push for a split for the Karakuiri district when parliament resumes next month. Population, land size, I think current is for another uh, electorate. I, I would say that and I would support the honorable member for Karakuiri if this is taken up in national parliament or in a government caucus. I would support him. Jack Lopava Jr., National MTV News.